guys. It's Friday night. It's time to party. We've got a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas in front of us. Uh, we're going to do a split pour. I will provide information on the colors that I'm using in the description as I typically do. Uh, so let's get to partying. Okay, I'm going to pour into some black. I decided. And use that as our extender. I want to actually pour into some. Okay. I'm going to grab more paper towels or I'm going to be sorry. I love working with black, but it is the messy. Well, I don't know that it's the messiest, but it shows up <laughs> the most. So that really matters. Okay, here we go. I squirted that a little harder than I expected. This part here will probably be lost anyway, so I'm not really overly concerned. Cover these real good. Okay, torch it real quick. Okay. 
Bubbles wanting to really hold on there for some reason. Okay. Let's see what we got. Just paint moving. I kind of wanted some negative space in this. This time, something different. to um, help this out a little bit. Like to help those corners out. This corner. Let's get this corner. There we go. got going on here. Lots of cells popping up. Black hands. I do have some gloves, but I don't even want to use them. They were so expensive. Um, I can't say that I'm disliking what's what we're getting here. Let's keep a, let's do some little more tilting here. Might actually hold up, put some black on here completely dry here, so um, it seems to be hanging it up here. And I don't know that I want to bring this color all the way. I kind of like this negative space here, too. much paint we get moving here. It's still moving quite a bit, so do have a lot of paint. Which is okay because as you saw, maybe you noticed, um, I got a lot of black popping up on this other side. Underneath the paint, starting to pop up, telling me that my paint is getting thin on top of the black. So, I don't mind some like this. This looks all right. I just didn't want all that black popping through right here the way it was. 
we have some here, which I don't mind. I don't know. I think I like it the way it is. Kind of, kind of interesting. What do you guys think? I'm liking this part. Pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with this. Um, let me get down the camera and give you all a close up. Okay. Let's check this baby out up close. Got some really lots and lots of cells. Very interesting cells. With a check out the pink one with a the numerous colors. This one here, that one is really cool. I didn't put my hair back today and I gotta watch it. I don't get it down in the paint. Oh goodness. Um, I don't know if you can tell, you know, because the camera can be so deceiving as far as colors go when they are wet, especially. But what appears to be white is actually silver, and it's going to look different once this is dried. Check this out. I mean, that is that is going to be so cool when it dries. That is going to be super cool. Um, there is no silicone in these paints that I know of, except there is a possibility that some was in the silver because I haven't used that silver much. It's a hard color to work with. And um, when I first got the silver, when I bought the silver, this that was when I first started at all this. And um, I was using silicone then. And I had this in a bottle and I would just keep adding to it and you know, making when I needed more of it. So there could be trace amounts of silicone, but uh, the Floetrol and the Elmer's glue is also known for creating cells. Um, plus some of these paints um, also could do that. Metallics are known for creating cells. I think it looks pretty cool. I hope you guys like it too. Okay, guys. I'm back. This is what's been going on. Um, you guys are going to see the first part of this video, but there, uh, I'm going, full disclosure, I'm going to tell you I did another pour in between the first pour and this pour. Um, and I have a... Uh, I did videotape it, but I'm not going to upload that and include it with this video. It will make this video way too long, and it takes, uh, you, you don't, you know, no one wants to watch a video that long, plus I don't want to upload all that. So, um, I got rid of that, and I completely scraped 
the canvas. Last time, the video you didn't see, I actually left the stuff on here and poured over it and um, it was way too much paint and it, it did not go well. Um, and I uh, eliminated the silver this time. Uh, I think that that both both pours that I've done, there was a zillion sales and I don't mind some sales, but with this type of pour, um, you really don't want the, as many sales as been uh, developing. So I thought getting rid of the silver might help with that. Um, now um, we're going to start over again and hopefully get something that looks more like a standard split cut pour. I am, you know, still practicing, I guess. I'm not uh, mastered this by any means, <laughs> but hopefully it's going to go better this time. Okay. I had to make up some more paint as well. So I've been pretty busy. Hopefully this is going to go well because I'm not up for another pour for today. <laughs> Here we go. Expect that. That's all right. Quick torch. I don't know 
what happened over there. And I don't like it. So we will go that way first because I do not like whatever that was. This paint off of me. But now I can think straight and decide what I'm going to do here. Not liking this part at all. Um, see if I ain't. Don't have any pink at all, or the magenta left. Um, do have a little bit of the others. <sighs> what to do, what to do. Since it's in the middle, not an easy fix. You know, if it was over here, just, you know, tilt and get rid of it. Um, I'm going to put you, I'm going to stop the video for a second and uh, mix up some magenta real quick. Okay, I'm back. What I'm going to do is um, just try to re-pour this section right here. Because I don't have a whole cup full of uh, paint here. And if I have enough, I will uh, use up some of this, you know, black. Okay, that looks a lot better. I'm not going to torch it. And because I saw a bunch of cells popping up in this, the old what I just poured a minute ago, and I'm not really, as I mentioned, 
all those cells are not something I'm really digging in this. So let's see if we can get rid of some of it, if not all of it. having to, I'm going ahead and getting rid of all that because it just doesn't fit in with what we've got on the, on the canvas right now. Okay. Well, I don't know. I think my paints were too thin this time. Uh, the rush job of mixing up more, and, and this is my third one. Sorry, guys, I know you're not seeing that, but I've got to uh, do a hard tilt. And it's worth it because I'm liking what I'm getting. Let's see. This part I'm really liking. Um, not so much this. Not so much. See what I got left. Okay, I'm gonna put you on hold again and uh, get me up a little bit more paint. I'm gonna try to try to get rid of this. You got to keep working on okay, it. Okay, let's see what we can do with it this time. Um, it is not a full cup of paint. And I didn't put, there's not as much, I didn't want to make up more of the, the aqua green and it's kind of took over the painting the way it is. So I'm, I only, there's not as much of it this time as the other paints. Um, look how many cells has popped up just in the little bit of time that, uh, I had the camera turned off.
let's see what we got. And I'm not torching it. Sorry, hope y'all got can see. Paying so much attention to what I'm doing. I believe that uh, those who get these perfectly swirled things, they're not actually moving their paint much. Um, and when you're re-pouring and re-pouring, you really have no choice. Oh, sorry guys. This has got to be hard tilt. Okay. So far, this looks 10 times better. Of course, I don't know what it's going to do. You know, when I let it just rest, you know, the millions of sales, which I hope don't pop up. Well, I know we're going to get some, you know, I know that, but okay, that looks so much better than what I've been getting though like I said we're gonna have to give it a minute and because the black is gonna start popping up through and stuff is gonna start popping up but so far I like this uh, so much better It is a lot better than what we've been getting. I'm going to stick with that. This is for sure this time. <laughs> um, I keep changing my mind. And, uh, you know, because I know I can do better and I want to get better at this and everything. But I think uh, after three pours, and uh, well, actually three and three quarter pours, because I re poured on this pour, didn't I? <laughs> A couple of times. <laughs> um, let's, uh, we're not going to count all that. <laughs> I'm going to get the camera down and let you guys see it up close. I'm tired, to be honest. This is uh, where you out redoing and redoing and remixing and all this stuff. A lot of work. And I still got to upload these videos and everything. So I'm going to be up till the wee hours of the morning. See all the sales that have popped up, but it's. It still looks conducive with the, the pattern and everything. So we do have uh, some spots that aren't connected or whatever. This isn't perfect, but you know what? It looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. Got a lot of good definition. Um, so I hope you guys like it too. If we hold the, I pull back right now, 
And, you know, I guess uh, maybe I'm tired or I've got uh, Halloween on my mind or whatever, but I'm seeing a monster. <laughs> See his eyes. There's his eyes. And uh, here's his nose. But we don't really see his mouth. I guess this could be his his mouth. But um, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a face for sure. Could be like an ape or something. Um, what do you guys think? It's it's weird how your mind works on you. <laughs> but I, I still I, I like it. I think it's interesting. Um, and it's the best best uh, results we've had so far so i'm i'm pleased with it uh if you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up um give me a comment some suggestions um share with your friends and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so i hope you guys will enjoy the rest of your day and i'll be seeing you for another paint party soon you all take care now. Bye.